Hoyaverse announced that every player in Honkai Star Rail will be able to get a free Sushang during the version 1.3 Arm Alley Hustle and Bustle event. And I think this is really great because Sushang is still a really good 4-star DPS, so I want to do a little spotlight on her today to show players what she's all about before we get this free copy of her. So, Sushang is a physical character on the path of the hunt. So she's going to be focusing on single target damage, as well as she also has a focus on characters that have already had their weakness broken. So, for her skill, Sushang will damage a single enemy, and also has a chance to activate her sword stance. And when she activates her sword stance, her skill will do some extra damage to that enemy. And you're also guaranteed to get her sword stance active if the enemy you're attacking is already weakness broken, which is super nice because that extra damage, you know, could definitely add up and especially just getting damage on an enemy that's already weakness broken, you know, their, uh, their action is more than likely going to be delayed a little bit. So getting that extra damage is going to be super nice. And then also, if you already have Sushang and this free copy gets you to E1, her E1 makes it so that if you do use your skill against a weakness broken enemy, you will get the skill point back that you used. So that's going to be even better for people because then every time you use the skill against a weakness broken ally or a weakness broken enemy, you're not going to be, you not basically don't have to use the skill point, which is super nice for her. Then for Sushang's ultimate, the ultimate will damage a single target and also gives her an immediate action. And then with that immediate action, her skill has two extra chances for the sword stance to activate. And once again, if the enemy's weakness broken from the ultimate, then they will, yeah, then they'll get the guaranteed sword stance proc. And the extra chance sword stances only do half of the original sword stance damage, or it's like, yeah, it's around half. Which, you know, it's definitely lower damage, but if you're doing a weakness broken enemy, it's basically the equivalent of two regular sword stances, as opposed to it being three, which isn't too bad, especially if you have your Sushang built properly, you know, going, you know, attack, crit rate, crit damage, because she's going to have a very standard, like, DPS kind of build. Then her talent gives her a speed increase for two turns and reduces the chance of being attacked um, for yeah, for two turns as well when under 50% HP. And this is really good too, even though for, you know, taunt values, the Hunt and Erudition characters have the lowest taunt values. So, you know, it is kind of unfortunate when they do get attacked, but this being able to lower her chances even more of being hit, which is under 50% HP, is really good to basically try to minimize your chances of taking any extra damage before you're able to heal her with whichever healer you're running on your team. And also increasing your speed is going to be good because that's going to be more chances to use your skill. And if you're running characters on the team that can weakness break enemies very easily, like Asta, Sampo, you know, characters that have a lot of those things, you're going to also be pretty good there with, um, yeah, with being able to use her skill while their weakness broken and with her having more speed as well. But I mean, the only draw with that is that you have to be below 50% HP. So it's a bit of a niche thing, but even without that, she is still doing some really good damage. And I think overall, if you're looking for a phys physical damage dealer, and you know you don't have Clara, um, you don't, you know, you're not using Luca on like a DOT team with Kafka. Each one like a normal physical damage dealer. Su Shang is still going to be a very great option for you, and I definitely recommend running her. I've I haven't used her too much myself, but I do have friends who use her for a while in like the early days in like 1.0, 1.1. And Su Shang has definitely done them very well. But yeah, let me know down in the comments below what you think about Su Shang. Yeah, I, I do want to build her at some point in the future. So I'll, you know, we'll see when I'm able to do that. But I do think she definitely is going to be very solid. If you enjoyed the video and haven't already, definitely be sure to like the video, comment, subscribe to the channel, and ring that notification bell. But with that, everyone, I will see you all next time.